What's up, everybody? How's it going? So a few weeks ago, I came across a post on Blind, which is the anonymous forum for workers at companies, from a software engineer who claimed to be working two full-time software engineering jobs at big tech companies, no less, at Facebook, Meta, and at Microsoft, simultaneously. This was someone who was a normal software engineer, mid-level, I think they were L4 or E4 at Facebook Meta and the equivalent level at Microsoft. They were working these jobs remotely, of course remotely because otherwise it wouldn't really be possible, and they were basically asking the blind community, like, what do you think about this? Is this sustainable? You know, I'm making a ton of money, like two full-time compensation packages. And of course, as you might expect, the most common answer was step one, do not post this online. Like, why would you ever do that? And lo and behold, the post has now been deleted, so unfortunately I can't show you the post. But I figured that I would talk about this in a video because I do think that it's an interesting concept, you know, working two full-time jobs at the same time. So I want to explore, number one, whether it's actually doable, and number two, the pros and cons of doing it. Now, keep in mind that this is likely illegal, or maybe not illegal at the government level, but it's probably a breach of contract with the two respective companies, and most companies to be honest, because most companies don't allow you to work two full-time jobs simultaneously, like as part of your contract. You are only allowed to work a single full-time job, you know, with an actual employer. So I am by no means advocating that you do this or you know, making any sort of recommendations or advice. But that being said, I still want to explore this option. So first of all, is this actually doable? Well, the short answer is yes. At a very fundamental, like, can you get away with this level? This is certainly doable. Case in point, this person, assuming that they were telling the truth, is doing it. And if you just think about it, a software engineer is probably like the perfect job function to accomplish this, to get away with this, at least in a remote work environment. Because a software engineer is a job function that doesn't require that many meetings, depending on the team, company, and the individual. It doesn't require that much you know, communication with other people. Of course, there's some communication, but it can be done very asynchronously. And it's just the kind of work where you can get away with having two jobs and kind of, you know, jumping from one to the other. The second point that I want to make here about whether this is doable is just from a point of view of like, is it sustainable? Can you actually handle the workload? And my answer is yes, you definitely can. And to be clear, I'm saying that this is very doable with good performance. I'm not talking about, you know, half-assing one of the two jobs because, for example, this person in the post claimed that they were putting, I think, about 40 hours a week at Facebook Meta, but only 10 hours a week at Microsoft, presumably because the team was much more you know, relaxed and lenient and wasn't, you know, micromanaging this person as much, or perhaps they didn't have to show the output of their work as much. But I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about delivering really good results to both jobs. And the reason I say that it's very doable is because I actually kind of did this, not with two official employers, but back when I had a full-time software engineering role at Google, I was also working full-time on my company, AlgoExpert, which of course was not the same thing because it was a side project, side business, whatever you want to call it. But make no mistake, it was effectively a full-time job. I was putting in definitely 40 hours a week on Algo Expert. I was working in the mornings, in the evenings, at night, in the weekends, and so I had two full-time jobs. And I think that I was able to perform very well in both because I made the conscious decision to just focus on work for those couple of years of my life. And so I performed very well at Google, got promoted, got very good performance ratings, and Algo Expert did very well. And we built the website entirely during that time. We grew it substantially to the point where we could pursue it full time very soon after my tenure at Google. And so all that to say, that is proof that you can certainly do it. If you are a committed individual who wants to have two jobs at the same time and juggle them and perform well in both, you can do it without 
without having to slack off on one. And by the way, on this note, if you're a software engineer preparing for technical interviews, perhaps you're preparing for two technical interviews, then do check out my company, AlgoExpert. Go to AlgoExpert.io and use the promo code CLEM for a discount on the platform. Okay, so we have established that this is certainly doable. You can get away with it. You can handle the workload even without slacking off at one of the two companies. But the question becomes, is it worth it? Like, what are the pros and cons? And here I'm gonna talk about pros and cons both for you, the software engineer doing this, but also for the companies. So the pros I think are pretty obvious. First of all, the biggest one is that you get two compensation packages. So, you know, you could be making like anywhere between $400,000 a year to $700,000 a year, depending on your level, maybe even more, you know, if you're a senior engineer. So obviously that is going to accelerate the speed at which you generate money and can become financially independent or whatever your financial goals are. So that's gonna be the biggest benefit from this. But then also you're gonna be able to learn like twice as much to some extent, right? When I was at Google working on Algo Expert at the same time, I definitely think that I improved as a software engineer twice as fast, or perhaps not twice as fast, but like, you know, 1.5 times as fast because I was just coding so much more often. I was facing software engineering challenges so much more frequently. I was using lots of different technologies, you know, Angular at Google, React on Algo Expert. So I definitely grew really fast. And I can only imagine that if you're working at two different, you know, tech giants, you're definitely going to pick up a lot of stuff and it's going to be really useful to you. Now, of course, there are going to be diminishing returns, but at least in the short term, I think that you can learn a lot by having two jobs. You can learn much faster than if you only had one. Now, these are the biggest perks that I can think of for you, the software engineer. I think that then there are a few cons for you, the software engineer. The first one is that this might actually negatively affect your ability to get promoted at either one of the companies because your output might still be a little bit reduced. Although again, going back to my example, I don't think that my having algo expert back when I was at Google affected my performance at Google. So I'm just saying that this is a risk, but not necessarily something that is definitely going to happen. The second con is that you're gonna be working a lot, especially if you're not slacking off at one of the two companies. So you need to be ready for that. This is not for everybody, right? It's only for a specific type of individual. And the final con that I would say is of course, uh, the one that we kind of just forgot about in this video, which is that this is most likely not allowed, in which case you're doing something very unethical and I wouldn't recommend that you do something unethical. Then if we look at the company side, the company point of view, I think that the company actually can benefit from this type of arrangement, but it depends on the software engineer that ends up doing this. If it's a software engineer who's truly taking advantage of the companies or of one of them and is slacking off at one of them without the company knowing, then that's terrible and the company is not benefiting. But if this is a software engineer who is highly motivated and who is doing this like ethically, in other words, they're, they're just putting double the work, but they are actually performing well at both companies, then we're likely dealing with a very high performance individual. This might be someone who will perform better than other software engineers who only have one job. And so in that case, I think that companies allowing this um, or somehow you know, being lucky and, and hiring someone who's doing this without their knowing might actually be to the benefit of the company because they just were able to land a really performant talent. But otherwise, obviously the con for the company is that there will be individuals who are purely taking advantage of the situation and who are truly slacking off at one or both of the companies. And in that case, the company is not benefiting. They are you know, getting the short end of the stick. But so anyway, that's my analysis on this uh, whole dual job situation. I think that it's a pretty interesting concept to think about because I do think that it is doable for the right individual. And I think that the benefits definitely outweigh the cons if it were allowed. Like if companies were to allow this, I think that the benefits definitely outweigh the cons. Given that most companies do not allow this, I don't think that it's worth it because you know you can get fired very easily if they find out and perhaps even worse. You know, I don't know like the ramifications of getting caught doing something like this. I don't know if they could go after you like legally for more. I don't know if they could charge you criminally. You know, I don't know. But so given that it's not allowed by most companies, I don't think that it's worth it, but still a fun scenario to think about. Anyway, 
those are my thoughts on this topic. Let me know what you think about them in the comments below. Would you do this if it were legal or allowed? Don't forget to smash the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter if you enjoy short form and content. Instagram if you like pictures, and I will see you in the next video.